Today, we are going to talk about the Samantha Miller case, a bride whose life ended just hours after her wedding night. In this video, we will dive deeper into the details of this case, the background of the people involved, the legal proceedings, and the aftermath of this senseless tragedy. Stay tuned for more. Hello and welcome back to Crime Case Files. Our heartfelt condolences go out to Samantha, her friends and family. We sincerely wish that no such tragic events will occur in the future. Samantha Sam Miller, 34, and Arik Hutchinson, 36, had just exchanged vows. On April 28, 2023, the pair exchanged vows in a lovely wedding on Folly Beach, South Carolina. There were 150 visitors in attendance. Samantha expressed her desire for the night to never end to her sister, Mandy Jenkins. She claimed that it was the finest night of her life. Sadly, the couple's relationship would not endure for very long. Around 10 o'clock in the evening, Arik and Sam departed their reception on a road-legal golf cart and returned to their rental home. Arik and Samantha waved goodbye to their visitors as they rode on the back. Benjamin Garrett, Arik's brother-in-law, operated the golf cart while his son Brogan Garrett, 17, sat in the passenger seat. Unexpectedly and violently, a car crashed into the rear of the golf cart. Arik and Samantha were immediately struck by it while it was moving at 65 miles per hour. The cart rolled multiple times and the occupants were launched more than 300 feet or about the length of a football field. Jamie Lee Komorowski, 25, was the person in charge of the Toyota Camry, which was a grey rental car. Jamie was returning home after a night of bar hopping on Centre Street, the main drag in Folly Beach and the sole access point to and from Folly Island. She wasn't even harmed, but the incident had puzzled and befuddled her. She was above three times the legal limit with a blood alcohol concentration of 0.261%. Paramedics tried all they could to revive Samantha, but they were unsuccessful. She was still wearing her wedding dress when she passed away. Samantha's final day was one she had eagerly anticipated and spent a lot of time arranging. Her and Arik were married for only a few hours before she died. Arik was transported to the Medical University of South Carolina, where he received treatment for two broken legs, facial fractures, vertebral fractures, and a brain hemorrhage. Brogan sustained minor wounds, but Benjamin required medical attention with serious road rash and open wounds. Arik had the difficult responsibility of planning for his new wife's burial, which was conducted on May 13, 2023, two weeks after their wedding day, while he was recovering in the hospital. A few days later, he sued Jamie, who is still detained at the Charleston County Jail for wrongful death. Several pubs are also parties to the wrongful death lawsuit, including the places Jamie frequented on that particular day. The Mexican restaurant Taco Boy just recruited Jamie as a waiter, and earlier that day it had hosted a gathering. A Taco Boy manager allegedly forced Jamie to drink alcohol at this event. The complaints demand damages for negligence, wrongful death, wrongful hiring and training, breach of duty, and negligent infliction of emotional distress. Eric accuses the four businesses Jamie went to that day of serving an inebriated customer carelessly. A South Carolina law forbids businesses with licenses to sell alcoholic drinks from serving patrons who are visibly drunk. According to the lawsuit, Jamie Komorowski continued to be served, provided, and or allowed to consume additional and excessive amounts of alcohol at each of these establishments, despite being noticeably and visibly intoxicated at each of them. To help with funeral and medical costs, Lisa Miller, Samantha Miller's mother, started a GoFundMe page. The total amount raised so far exceeds $720,000. The family requested that in lieu of flowers, donations be made to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, M-A-D-D. The 25-year-old Jamie Lee Komorowski is a native of Clinton, New Jersey. She traveled to Charleston, South Carolina to attend Coastal Carolina University from 2015 until 2020. She was an active sorority member at the university where she obtained a bachelor's degree in marketing and hotel, resort, and tourism management. She stayed in the area after graduating. She has spent the last 2.5 years working for truck transportation business Total Quality Logistics as a logistics account executive. On Friday, April 28, 2023, Jamie spent most of the evening going to different bars. She presumably drove to Center Street after she started drinking at El Gallo Bar and Grill in Charleston to visit the drop-in bar and deli, the Crab Shack and Snapper Jacks before 10 o'clock she left. James Island, which is 19 minutes drive from Folly Island, was where Jamie shared a one-story house with two other people. 
Jamie was doing 65 miles per hour in a 25 miles per hour zone when she crashed with the golf cart. She was also traveling along Center Street, a dead end that comes to a beachside halt. It's in a popular vacation spot with kids, families, and bikers, and legal golf carts are commonly driven there. Three counts of DUI causing serious bodily harm or death and one count of reckless murder are both brought against Jamie. Jamie admitted to drinking one beer and one tequila containing alcoholic beverage an hour before she got behind the wheel. On a dead-end street, she was moving in the other direction when something happened. She was not hurt, despite having a 0.216% blood alcohol concentration. Jamie insisted to the authorities again and over again that she did nothing wrong. She exhibited a lack of cooperation at the scene and objected to taking a field sobriety test. She shouted for her absent partner and insisted on having a lawyer present. Jamie is being detained without bond and on suicide watch at the Charleston County Jail. If she is found guilty of Samantha's wrongful death, she may spend up to 25 years in prison and pay a fine of up to $25,100. She also faces an additional 15 years in jail and a $10,100 fine if the other three passengers are injured. For committing murder carelessly, she might be sentenced to an additional 10 years in prison and a $5,000 fine. But at Komorowski's court appearance on August 1st, Judge Michael Nettles mandated that she be detained until the beginning of her trial, provided that it begins by the trial's planned March 2024 date. Samantha Sam Lee Miller, 34, turned to her husband Arik just before she passed away and stated, I want this day, this evening, to last forever. Samantha was the sole person killed in the collision. Samantha, who was born in Charlotte, North Carolina, adored the sea. At her funeral, Arik referred to her as a beach girl. Her parents, Lisa and David Miller, welcomed her into the world on March 27, 1989. When she was a small child, her parents were divorced, and her mother later remarried Brad Warner, her stepfather. Mendy Jenkins, Jake Warner, Nathan and Joseph Miller, and Samantha all have siblings. In addition to being a wife and mother of a cat, Samantha also acted as a sister, aunt, and friend. Her mother was, in her eyes, one of her closest friends. She surprised her mother on her wedding day by dancing to their song, Bruno Mars, Just the Way You Are. The DJ introduced it as a dance with the most important person in the bride's life. She thought her soulmate was her spouse, Arik. Samantha oozed natural confidence and had an infectious smile. She also loved to laugh. She was a gorgeous force to be reckoned with, as her obituary states. It is difficult to adequately express how incredibly unique she was. Folly Beach, the scene of the accident. The fatal crash took place in the neighborhood of Folly Beach on South Carolina's Folly Island, which is only a few miles outside of Charleston. The Atlantic Ocean and the Folly River encircle the 12-square-mile island of Folly, which has six miles of stunning beaches. Both residents and tourists like visiting Folly Beach. There are several restaurants and surf and souvenir stores on Center Street where Jamie was bar hopping. The island's top speed restriction is 25 miles per hour due to the large number of tourists, walkers, and kids that visit Folly Beach. There are also some golf carts that can be driven on the streets legally. This concludes today's presentation on Samantha Miller. If you found this video informative, kindly show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for additional true crime content. Your viewership is greatly appreciated. Until our next encounter, farewell.